All right, making a fast video here to send out to uh, update you guys out there. One of the uh, formations I like, and I'm just happy. Uh, let me throw out a couple stocks right now that look strong. Hot Topic, uh, retail sector play. It looks really good today. It looks like it might be uh, b making a double bottom here. Uh, we're in earlier today. I'm in earlier today. I don't like to say we. I don't know why I say that. But anyway, making new highs here at 7, uh, 784. Looks like it could be a continuation play tomorrow. BHI, I think it's oversold here. Baker Hughes, I have a small position in that. And CME also. Apple, I just re-entered Apple. Uh, but I won't be overstaying my welcome. I just want to be trading that one today too. IMMR also could be an interesting play leading into Apple earnings. IMMR as they uh, do a lot of the technology on the, the touch screens and stuff. So any kind of blowout numbers on Apple might affect this one, might get a gap up in this one. So I would just trade this one for a gap up tomorrow and get out of it. Move on. Kick that bitch to the curb. Um, also like to strengthen Microsoft today. Uh, but the main thing I want to just bring out to your attention right now, not saying it's going to play out or not, is an inverted head and shoulders pattern that's happening right here off the uh, five minute Dow, Dow chart. All right, so you got a little... Not really a textbook one, but this is uh, something I like to see. So uh, we have a kind of a gap down here, but we're going to actually call this area right here as shoulder number one. And then we're going to call this over here shoulder number two. Um, and of course, this would be the head down here. And right now we're going to see if we can consolidate here and make a pattern, make uh, a neckline. So if we could somehow... We're going to call this neckline right here a high. The neckline would be the high of uh, high of the day, which would be the gap. And again, like I said, if we could close, come how, run up, and make new highs and go in, go past the, uh, the closing gap of yesterday, uh, this would be a very bullish sign and would actually play well for this inverted head and shoulders. So something to watch. You know, I would say this this market needs to break above on the ES futures 1510. On, on this Dow chart, this needs to break uh, um, the high of the day and uh, and just to watch this. We'll see how this plays out and we'll revisit it tonight and we'll just analyze it. Just want to send that out to you. All right. I know the chart's in black. This is my fastest chart I could get out at right now that's up to date. And uh, so if it's hard looking at it, I'm sorry. I'll fix that for you.